26. Hill has two inches in height, four inches in reach, but she is the betting underdog tonight against the Fall River-born Tisha Torres. Here now, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record, 13 wins, nine losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, by way of Clinton, Maryland, presenting the number 12 ranked Strawweight contender in the world, Angela Overkill Hill! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record, 12 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado! Presenting the number 10 ranked strawweight contender in the world, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mike Beltran. One of MMA's finest referees, Mike Beltran. The great Ariane Celeste with us live on pay-per-view. Tisha Torres trying to extend her UFC winning streak to three at the expense right, of an ladies, old rival, Angela round. Hill. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Head up, let's go. Tonight's Fight Clock is sponsored by Sweet Girl, starring Jason Momoa and Isabella Merced. Coming soon to Netflix, Torres in the all-red. Angela Hill counters in what? Angie was way more aggressive against Ashley Yoder. Let's see if she takes that same approach against Tisha Torres. A fighter who shows way more activity on her feet and movement. Torres had a wrestling heavy attack in the first meeting between these two ladies. She said in large part due to the altitude in Mexico City, which plagued a lot of fighters that night at UFC 188. It was bad. I saw what it did to Yair Rodriguez, and I will not repeat what I saw in that locker room, man. It was crazy. People were going crazy. I saw, I mean, Kane got tired there, and he never yeah, gets yeah. tired. Those right there, those teep kicks and the side kicks are the one difference in the styles that makes oh. a big difference in how they match up. That's going to be a big thing. Angela Hill's going to have to sweep those side kicks and those teep kicks out the way because she tends to square up and come down the middle so she can land her elbows and knees, and that's that Muay Thai style. Well, Tisha's, I mean, faster, right? You can see it right away. Tisha is much faster than Angie. And Angela's going to have to find a way to make contact, hit Tisha Torres, and just earn some respect, because right now Torres is way out ahead of us. That's right away, right there. Beautiful catch and trip by Angela. And that's the Muay Thai, and that's why they stand more square, because it's easier to catch kicks when you stand square. But that also leaves an opening for the teep kicks. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes throughout the rest of the fight. And this is the controller. Torres is almost climbing the fence to get up. This is where Angela has made a lot of improvements. This is where she's been wrestling a lot with a lot of different people. Just, you know, immersing herself in the fence grappling and in the grappling in general, where in the past she didn't do it so much. Well, you remember the first fight, it was Torres that was grounding Angela Hill. Now you see Angela going for takedown. And she's confident going for him. She's not second guessing him right now. She believes. Very nice takedown. But almost got it complete control. Just dropped through the butt for a second. Nice knees, and this is where Angie does really well, too. She wants this clinch where she can land knees and elbows and keep a hold of Tisha. All right, this coach's cam is brought to you by Jose Cuervo Tequila. Body All right, let's reset. Back to, the, up, back, back to the center line. Back to the center line. Nice shot, nice shot. Chin down, Tisha. Chop that leg, please. Two and a half, Tisha. Two and a half. Oh, hey. Follow up. Give me a switch, too. That was close. Hill was not looking at her when she threw that kick and she was a little closer. She might have been in trouble. Hill has been training her judo game under the great Justin Flores, who Dominic Cruz has a long-standing relationship with, but talk a lot about the offensive nature of her game now in the clinch. You saw signs of it a few moments ago. Let's see if she can work that again. Under two here to go in round one. 
the one weapon there, the teep kicks down the middle. That's the only thing that really I've seen with Angie. She's got to figure out a way to use her arms to sweep them away and counter. Crypto.com offers the world's most popular crypto card. Spend with the Crypto.com Visa card and get up to 8% back. Hill doesn't move whenever Tisha Torres enters. She kind of closes her eyes and almost just waits. And that's why Torres is landing at such a high rate. It's not a lot of head movement. No, she's that, not that's moving the her difference. Head. There's no head movement because it's a Muay Thai style. Mm -hmm. it, it's not as much about head movement as much as eating and returning. Man, she has got to move her head, though. Look at that. You're not wrong. <laughs> Good body kick that a right hand from Torres. Coming up on a minute to go here, round one. Spinning back fist does not land for Torres. Faints also would really support Angie, faking, faking, in and out, in and out, forward, back. Right now she's kind of plotting forward, yeah, plotting only, forward instead yep. of forward, back, forward, back. Look at the difference in the stance, too. Torres is bouncing. Back up and down, up and down, yeah, she's not stationary. So she's reacting so much faster it just than Angela. Yeah. Angie's looking to do damage, that's for sure. Let's see, combination for Torres, now two kick to the body. Three right hands in a row for Angie there. Yes, she did. <laughs> nice blitz by Torres there. And that is where he'll... Right from Hill. Yep, that is where Hill says she would stand firm, right, John? She That's would right. stay there and wait to try to return something when Tisha entered. Nice elbow. Threw a nice spinning elbow there. Didn't do a lot of damage, but it was a good attempt. Nice takedown attempt there. Oh, nice body kick late in the round from Hill. Fast-paced round one. I didn't hear the clock was... Great first round. Tonight's Kona Cam is brought to you by Body Armor, the official sports drink of the UFC. Grab one today at AM PM. Here's some water for you. Okay, listen. All she's doing is that fucking sidekick, all right? You're giving her too much space. I need volume. So faints, volume. We're going to have to take a reload. She's going to run away every time, okay? If she keeps shooting, it's sloppy. Give me a knee, all right? Faints, re-attack, keep her against the fence. We're letting her off. I need more volume. I need you to keep fainting. Right here, you see Torres land a body kick. Then a right hand over the top, then another body kick to follow. Then on that blitz, she lands the left hook, then the right hand behind it, another one. And here comes Angela Hill. She caught the kick, little back foot sweep. See it in Muay Thai, first thing you learn in class. Overhand right lands. Don't give her the side kick. Round, Stay out of range. You got it, babe. Well, this year, month of August, is absolutely packed with live events on UFC Fight Pass. Catch the best in global combat sports. From Submission Underground, Cage Fury, Unified MMA, Ultimate Warrior Championship, Fury FC. Hi, ladies. And second more round. every Red week fight. is Fight Red Week fight. with Hell, UFC go. Fight Pass. All right, second round here. You heard Adam Pride there directing Angela Hill. Wants to stick away from those sidekicks of Torres, yeah? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the weapon right there that landed in the first couple fights that she's landing now that really makes a difference because it keeps Angie from coming forward. Right there, you see it land again. But and Angie just wants to come forward heavy. This is where Hill can find success is if she can trap her along the side of the octagon. If you don't give her too much space, you can trap your opponent and make them fight you in close. That's what she wants. She wants you to meet. She wants to head her off and get her to meet her in the middle so she can utilize her clinch, being the taller fighter. That's not an easy thing to do, though, when Tisha Torres is so good at her fight style. Definitely not easy. <laughs> the one for four, unofficially on her takedown attempts thus far. To this point. Torres has landed nearly twice as many significant strikes through six minutes. The difference has been the elusiveness so far, Tisha. I mean, they're both pretty even in the striking, but Tisha's just not getting hit quite as much as Angie. The speed, she too, got man. hit there. She got hit there, but she's so much faster. I think there's a big difference in speed between Hill and Torres. Check right hook there by Tisha Torres. I'm telling you, after Hill had landed, yeah. the more seminal blow from Torres. And then stepped off, pivot and turn. Back to space. When Tisha Torres was competing at the UFC Apex, she loved sort of competing without a crowd. It sort of felt like a glorified sparring session, and it seemed like that sort of helped her rebuild her confidence a little bit, performing admirably early in this one. Well, Tisha Torres 
has lost fights. But I mean, Jessica Andraj, Wei Li, Yoani and Jacek. She's used, she only is loses to the best of the best, right? So Ooh, that was now she's back on a run as Angela Hill gets a takedown. And Angela Hill had a nice adjustment to that T kick. She caught it, pulled it into the body lock, and that's something she's been drilling right there, and you can see it. P3, the official protein stack of UFC, is giving fans the chance to win a trip to the Octagon and more. Visit P3PackAPunchSweeps.com to learn more. Hill with hands connected, now not anymore. Oh, nice knee there by Angela. Left hand from Torres out of the break. And Angela Hill starting to show some swelling on that right side of her face. Six takedown attempts already for Hill through the fight's first eight minutes. And that's a nice nice thing to add, I mean, to try to change up the fight from the first fight, adding the takedowns. But those especially side when, kicks. Yeah, the, especially when you're the one getting taken down the whole first fight. Oh, nice turn there by Torres. Yeah, that's, she's on that clinch heavy. But, but now, is, they, yep, now Angela's got her clinch. Oh. I mean, Hill's walking through some shock, yep. but she is getting lit up when she gets close by Keisha. How many times we've seen Derek Lewis get clinched and just start throwing haymakers yeah. out of it? And he knocks not, people out. Not supposed to be able to do it, but if it works, it works. It does work. <laughs> Big second round on the numbers already for Tisha Torres. Do get to the stools after round two. We'll see what type of adjustments. Oh, John, I was thinking the same thing. How about that? There's gonna be some big adjustments need to be made in Angela Hill's corner after round two because right now what they're doing, or the idea is, is, is really not paying dividends. And that's where it comes down to the leadership in the corner to make the adjustments for the fighter. Not be too emotional and keep them calm and see if they can pull out of them. She's gotta finish, she's gonna have to finish the fight. Feels like she's down two rounds to zero. Pretty good left hand landing yep. with power for Hill a moment ago. And it'll take flurries like that for her to try to pull this one out. Nice spinning elbow. Oh, wow. What a crazy combination. Torres slips at the end of the combination. Nice this is neon neon belly. Belly. Great job by Angel Hill to go to Neon Belly to, looking for the mount. Let's see what she can do here. What happened with short time? The time was so short. Likely in 2-0 Torres after two. Body kick from Tisha here. Lands. Another body kick. Oh, that was an inside kick to a left hand. And a counter right hook here. Out of the pocket for Tisha. Seven, but we're not sure. So I need take downs, okay? Take downs. Give me a one-two, a little faint when she's getting to fence. Hard one-two and clash with her. If she's gonna do that flurry shit, hit her with the elbow. Get her to the fence, faint, faint. Hard one-two into the clinch, trip her from there, okay? She's got nothing for you in the grappling department, all right? Take downs, take downs, okay? Take downs. Big points, big points. Big points. Big points. Big points. Okay? Get her against the fence, keep her there. Let's do it, babe. You're fine, right. you're fine. Last round. Volume, okay? Let's go, second round, Let's go, out, out, out. All right, round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein no, snack of the UFC. Dean Thomas, Angela Hill's husband, Adam, gave her a lot Angela. to think about there. He seems to think this might be 1-1. What do you think? Uh, I think she's losing. I thought she lost both rounds. But the reality is that she has to hold her hands right, in a more responsible spot. Because she's at a speed disadvantage, she needs to position her body in, in a way where she doesn't have to move so much to defend. Because when Torres fires, Angie just doesn't react fast enough. Right. And when she does, she overcorrects, and it's still too late. Thank you, Dean Thomas, UFC veteran. Appreciative crowd acknowledging the combatants at the beginning of this third and final round. Lucky to have that third eye out there watching. Thanks, Dean.
And I think what could serve Angie well is to move in advance, right? Because her trying to react when the punches are coming in her direction has not worked. Beautiful Let's job by Hill. Bit. Or excuse me, by Torres to fight for the underhook. Get some clearance. Sorry, Daniel. <clears throat> Well, Just over four minutes to decide this one. I mean, the call to grapple, I don't know about that because you're kind of down two rounds. Do you want to just nullify it and try to win by grappling, or do you want to try to hurt this person and get her out because you're down two rounds? Well, she was able to get to the mount last time, right? Yeah. So hold for a mistake from Torres. Put yourself in that same position where you can go chase the finish or just let everything go. Start just throwing punches. It's a tough position. Do you go for broke in the stand-up and try to get the finish, or do you go for the, the, the takedown and get position? Yeah. Well, what's the better the tactic? Up, you know? On the stand-up right now, she just is struggling. You know, they said when Tisha blitzes, try to land an elbow. And maybe that'll work. Good hips by Angie there. Tisha's just a little bit more quick and a little bit more elusive, and that's been the real big difference with the side kicks and the teep kicks up the middle. Nice body shot. 18th pro fight for Torres. She has never been finished as she lands again. She is slowing down a little, though, and just keeping the pressure up. Tisha's up by about, I don't know, twice the punches, maybe? Twice the strikes? They're throwing a lot. They were both very busy. Hill has fought through the adversity pretty well. There's good in this, right? But... If you're Angela Hill and you go back and you think, man, this girl just might be a very difficult matchup, right? She beat me in the grappling fight one, and she was able to get me in the strike and the strike two. She's won a bad style for me, but she ain't giving up on herself, I'll tell you that much. Oh, it's not even close to over. She's in this fight all the way to the end, but yeah, it's styles make fights. We've said that a million times. And here you can see her loading up that right hand, and she's going to have to start uncorking him. Yep, just like that. But, I mean, Torres still just kind of blitzes her. And then when she gets her going backwards, she's so fast. And more often than not with Torres, it ain't just one strike. It's combinations. Never up old character since 1872. Very competitive matchup, these two, though. Nice punch work there by Angela Hill. Angela Hill went for the takedown early. She's kind of back to the striking now. See if she can create some sort of grappling transitions from that clinch, maybe. Try to get up in some control. If Torres Keisha, starting to bleed from the nose a little bit. Go ahead, DC. John, if Keisha Torres can win this fight, right? You put Brianna Van Buren and Angela Hill as two of your wins in your last three fights, she's on the uptick again. You expect her to beat Sam Hughes in the way that she did. But if she can win this fight, as it seems that she's doing, Tisha Torres has some real momentum. And the next time she's in the octagon, she's going to be staring across from one of the very elite oh, yeah. at 115 pounds. She's got championship aspirations. There is no doubt about it. It's amazing to think at one point she dropped four in a row, granted all to elite competition. She's coming strong now. Nice attempt. Nice shot there attempt from Angie. Yes. Yes. Change levels 100% as much as she could have maybe, but good timing. Final 30 seconds. Well, these ladies have done a lot of rounds with each other, and you can see it. The way they face. And as you saw a moment ago, no straw weight has graced this octagon for more minutes than Angela Hill. There's the late takedown from Torres. And that was a well-timed takedown. And nice, almost a get-up from Angela Hill there. So close. for Tisha Torres to put a capstone on an excellent performance tonight. Crowd enjoyed the straw weights. This is ubiquitously regarded as the deepest division in terms of the women in the UFC, and they did not disappoint tonight. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Right here you see Tisha Torres with that nice body kick, landed him from both sides, then on that blitz, Throwing the right hand and just letting combinations fly. Real, did a real good job 
with her kicks to the body, kicks low. I thought Keisha Torres fought a beautiful fight tonight. Nice little check right hook by Keisha. And then that level change off the overhand right. Trick Angie to finish the fight in the best way possible. So Keisha Torres came in number 10 of the world. Angela Hill with the number 12 next to her name. Unless something crazy happens, Tisha Torres will have her hand raised in a matter of moments. The official decision is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate. Guaranteed Rate can save you money on your monthly mortgage payment. Visit rate.com to get started. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28 for the winner by United. Decision! Tisha, the tiny tornado! <laughs>